Jose Ibarra is in jail charged with Lincoln Riley's murder. He is from Venezuela, and according to ICE, he entered the country illegally in 2022 and was later paroled. 11 Alive's Rebecca Lindstrom joining us now in studio. So, Rebecca, a lot of folks want to know, did Ibarra even, did, did he fall through the cracks? Did, was he even supposed to be up in Athens in the first place when that crime occurred? Well, from what I can tell, if everyone had followed mm -hmm. procedures, the answer is no. There are at least two points in time that really could have made a difference. According to Homeland Security, Jose Ibarra and his wife entered the U.S. near El Paso in September 2022. After being arrested and released, they went to New York. Designated. At that time, immigration attorney Pamela Peinado says Venezuelans had special protective status in the U.S. It could be political unrest, it could be a national disaster, et cetera. But we're basically allowing these individuals to stay here for a temporary amount of time because it's unsafe to send them back to their home country. But in an interview with the New York Post, Ibarra's wife says that before their immigration hearing, Jose was arrested for riding a moped with their five-year-old son while doing food deliveries. Neither were wearing a helmet. At that point, ICE could have taken Jose into custody, but it says he was released before that could happen. The DA's office in Queens has refused to answer our questions, even denying the case exists. After his release, Jose headed to Athens, where his brother was now living. He was only here for about a month when they were both accused of shoplifting from Walmart. According to the police report, the two allegedly stole food and clothes. They were given a citation and let go. A spokesperson with the athens Clark County Police told me immigration status is handled during the booking process at the jail. And since they weren't arrested, that check wasn't done. But Jose's brother had been arrested the month before on a DUI charge. When someone is in an agency or in a detention facility that communicates with ICE, ICE will go pick them up. They usually have about 48 to 72 hours to do so. The Department of Justice says it didn't know about the DUI arrest until last week after Lake and Riley was killed. I have reached out to the sheriff's office to explain what happened, but have not received a response. Now, ICE is aware of both brothers. I am told Diego Ibera, the one arrested for DUI and then later for having that fake green card, will be in court tomorrow morning. If he is granted bond, ICE will likely take him into custody. Now, we have heard a lot of talk about sanctuary cities, and today the mayor said Athens is a welcoming city but follows immigration law, so it's all going to depend on what we learn from the sheriff's office. All right,